that someone is conjuring an enchantment against you and an energy comes upon you you wake up in the night you can't explain what is it but that no divination no enchantment against you Abba, sit down and just say this person is no scriptures like arrow just fire out from your spirit is someone learning hear me the order of Issachar is the survival pattern for the last days you need to master the art of spiritual perception you must be so close to the Holy Ghost that you can you can perceive the impulses of the spirit This looks like an open door, but I don't know why there is a restraint in my spirit. Even though it's a great door, please keep it open. Let me go back to God. God, what do you have to say? And you stay there till he speaks. You don't let your tiredness answer you on behalf of God. And you say, I've prayed for three hours. I assume he say yes. No. Are we together? This was the secret of the, the valiancy of great men in the Bible. Should I pursue? They will go and inquire of God. Many non-Christians and diviners do that till today. They will never take any action, whether in business, in whatever, until they have an assurance from heaven. Let me tell you this. Some of us that you see that look like we are great, I confess to you, I'm speaking to the globe, it is not because of anything in ourselves. We have simply mastered the childishness of staying till his voice comes. Mm, staying till his voice comes. But when that voice comes, it comes with tremendous power and energy according to Ezekiel 2 and verse 2. And the spirit entered me when he spake unto me. So you can find a man look so slow in destiny but in two months, God will do something with that person that will cover up for 10 years. And you are wondering from whence came this energy? The energy came with the voice. The energy came with the voice. These are missions to UK, you see, and the US. It was already on plan for a few years. Shared it with the leaders. I'm sure they are used to me now. Once I say we'll do something and you hear me keep quiet about it, just leave me and God like that. I just kept quiet since God kept quiet. But when the word came, it came with energy. It came with power. Man of God, don't assume because everybody is doing conferences, you get up and go and do it. Don't assume because everybody is opening branches, you go and do it. I'm saying this respectfully speaking. Don't assume. No. Father, according to your prophetic program for me how many children should i have ah i went to school how can i be asking god how many children you'll be surprised that in god's mind is three you now go and give birth to five those two of course god is merciful but you'll be surprised the the headache you will get from the remaining two and you are now asking god is this how you want to punish me I'm sorry if I'm touching an area that is a bit touchy, but it is very important. Hallelujah. Three days before Koinonia will start, before the service, I went back to God again to pray, crying my heart before him. And I said, God, I'm human. I can make mistakes. Please, if it is not you and it is not your voice, I pray and I cry unto you that you will speak to me. And I vow on that God, if God had told me he was not the one, I would have come here and apologized before the whole world. I'm not too proud to say sorry. Discernment. Discernment. To know what you ought to do. You need to go back right now and start re-examining your life in light of this thing. And you'll find out that some of you have been running anyhow. Anything that comes, once it makes sense, you jump at it. No, spiritual men don't work like that. It is not to make you judgmental. There are times you maximize opportunities. Don't get me wrong. But a spiritual man is one who discerns. Okay? 
this is a great business would you give me one night let me just pray let me just seek counsel no no it must be now tell the person may god bless you god who supplies jehovah jireh he will come back again don't put yourself in any kind of anything that needs your being too fast that you even have to throw god out is already bringing trouble speed without god is a highway to destruction make sure he's the one who becomes the captain of your speed is someone learning let us become a people of discernment it will help you to know what to be part of it will help you to know what to not be part of don't jump at things because of the physical expression and the flamboyancy that they carry spiritual people do not work like that it is not to make you this teaching is not to make you judgmental i hope you understand what i'm saying yes but you must learn to be spiritual you must learn to be spiritual you will know what kind of gifts to accept someone can come and give you a gift and you look at it and something you should be glad about you see ba once you invest in building your spirit respect the impulses that come from that spirit why am i being troubled over something that should give me joy you may not know what it is but just stop where you are and go back to the place of prayer lord this job that is supposed to give me joy is it just human fear or it is you restraining me how can i get a contract of 20 billion i should be rejoicing but now I'm, I'm tomorrow i'm going to collect the award letter and i cannot sleep in the night if it's an attack let me cast it what is there but let me tell you what many of us will do you will first send the text apostle there's a spirit fighting my breakthrough it cannot be the will of god that i got 20 billion naira stand up and pray with me oh and you see the thing about god ba, because the holy spirit is a gentle spirit his assignment is to restrain you according to the level of your yieldedness. The moment you begin to struggle with the Holy Ghost, it is fearful when God leaves you to yourself. <clears throat> if you're with me, please say amen. amen. I don't know why God is speaking this to someone, but this is a very serious prophetic message for someone tonight. What was the second thing they did? The sons of Issachar. The Bible says they had the strategy for the season to know what Israel ought to do. It's not enough to have discernment. Please hear me. Dominion is strategy dependent. Write it down. Dominion in the cosmos is strategy dependent. For every height, every mountain, every level in the spirit you must go through the sacrifice of alignment to receive the strategy that commands and maintains dominion per season hear me just because the red sea parted does not mean if you stand before jordan for you it means the sea should part for you the strategy will be an energizing of the spirit to walk on water don't assume that because the red sea parted every time you stand before a sea you say it parts. that is not the only formula just because samson carried the jawbone of a donkey and killed three thousand philistines does not mean oh elisha that when they surround you the strategy will be to fight there are times it will be to make them blind and lead them to samaria where they will eat and give you rest do you have the strategy warriors in the bible were people who paid the price to receive strategy joshua circumcised himself and all the men that came out of egypt of uh, uh, the Israelites came out of egypt and they waited for the arrival of the captain of the lord's army when he arrived he gave them a strategy he said if it is jericho you are going to bring down don't try to fight them they will kill you jericho is a strong city here is the formula go round once just once every day and then on the seventh day let the priests and the singers be in front and then you go around seven times 
as soon as you reach the seventh time let there be a shout the healer it's called the shout of a king he says when you shout that fence will go down joshua said i've got it i'm sure he called the warriors and they brought their swords he said keep it this is not the time to fight <clears throat> For many of us, every time we see enemies, you bring out your knife. There are times you bring out the trumpet. There are times you step back and allow the worshippers to be the ones to go in battle. Oh, Jehoshaphat, it is not always war with a knife. There are times you use honor like Esther. That becomes your weapon of war. There are times you fight for the Lord has given you victory. There are times you allow the Red Sea to deal with the Egyptians. Your own is for the sea to open and you go. Have you obtained the strategy for this season you are in? Don't enter seasons assuming a former strategy. No, it can cost you your life. What gave you victory yesterday may lead to utter defeat tomorrow. Man of God, don't as one day God gave you an instruction to ask people to sow into your life or so into the ministry and you responded and you said well I have a church building please so because it was God that said it you gave an announcement that did not make sense and one billion came from it and you built don't assume that that is the way God wants you to raise funds for another project you will make a call and 10,000 will not come rather the insults that will come will be more than 10 billion worth of insults I'm not be, I hope you are getting something now. Please write it down. For every prophetic season in your life, you must obtain the strategy for dominion. For every prophetic season in your life and of your life, you must obtain a strategy for your dominion. Don't make assumptions. We win by the strategies we are given in the spirit. No wonder the Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, it says, but that they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down every imagination, is the word Yazar, and bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ. The weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. Your promotion is coming and they are fighting you in the office. Don't assume that the strategy is to go and open the door of your boss and shout and yell at him after all i'm a king and a priest you go and open his door and say mr man let me tell you it's not because i'm afraid of you i went to school before you were born and you start saying and the man will just keep quiet once you finish okay i'm sorry for offending you leave the job i said no that's not leave the job you have brought yourself into a greater calamity and greater trouble what is the strategy for my remaining a, an executive director? I am the only Christian among 10 non-Christians. Lord, what is the strategy for survival? Most believers have not mastered, even for businessmen. What is the strategy for my profiting for this year? Are we together now? Yes. Oh, it is God that giveth power to get wealth. I know that I mm -mm, mm -mm, don't assume. The person talking to you is not stupid, ladies and gentlemen. Believe me, I know what I'm saying. Ministers, don't assume that because you executed something and it worked last year, you must go to the spirit and say, Lord, what is the blueprint for the season? This is where the danger of blind copying of things. We can be inspired and motivated by people, but you must be careful. It is always at thy word that we move, not at thy intention. Master, we have toiled all night. Nevertheless, at thy word. And they knew what Israel ought to do. Do you know what you need to do in this season to prosper? Man of God, do you know what you need to do, respectfully speaking, for your ministry to thrive? Father, mother, do you know what to do in this season to obtain the school fees of your children? Apostle, I've been getting a job. Listen, look at me, please. Uh, I'm from 2018 to 2020, they usually give me a job, but since pandemic, they did not give me the job. If Brook Cherith is dry, find out from God where else to go. Otherwise, you would die, Elijah. He gave you Brook Cherith for a season. 
and he commanded a raven to come there when the water dried up it was a sign that that season two had come to an end don't remain at brook cherry there waiting for a raven the raven may not come every day you need to know where the address of the widow in Zarephath, and there were many widows in Zarephath. He needs to tell you which one to meet. If you're with me, say amen. amen. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. Ah. Father, open my eyes to see the formula that controls my dominion for this season. Not everything translates to your victory. The Bible says now, thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. Have you received by the Spirit, by the sacrifice of consecration and the sacrifice of alignment, have you received the strategy for your excelling in business? Have you received the strategy for your excelling in ministry? Have you received the strategy for training your children? Don't assume that because you have children, this is how they are doing it. Who are the they? Their destinies are not the same. So Manoah called and said, it is not enough to know that you are giving us a child. Please reveal to us, how should this child be trained? And a strategy was given. Let his hair not be cut. He shall be a Nazarene unto God. And that became his strategy. Notice, when Satan came to attack Samson through Delilah, all he was looking for was a revelation of the strategy. That strategy is supposed to be a secret between you and God. That is your, that is your advantage. You will tremendous power in ministry. There are things God has told me as a person. It's a unique, it's a unique dealing between me and God. That for as long as those things are kept, your relevance is kept. Samson, Delilah, very cheaply, the formula of your hair, because there's no discernment. Champions are champions because there is something in their life they protect that becomes the secret. Not secret because it is hidden. Secret because of the power. It controls many things in their lives. There are many people, if you separate yourself from worship, you have separated yourself from the mysteries that control the flow of power in your life. There are people, if you separate yourself from prayer, consecration, People have their various formulas, the, the spiritual combination that produce power in their lives. There are people who God will make certain demands on them. Before they ever go out for a crusade, they must fast for at least three days. It is not like that in the Bible, but that is a customized dealing God gave them. And for as long as they keep it, it is a covenant that protects the purity of the anointing. And yet for somebody, he can be strolling on the road and they say, can you come and help us at this crusade ground? And he will come and stand there and that it will look like he's been preparing for it for 10 years. My question for you is, have you received the strategy that controls victory for this season? Hmm. One of the blessings of discernment is that it helps you not only to know God, but you know the ways of God. Are we together? When you go and meet a herbalist and tell that herbalist, um, sir, I'm trying to look for money for a political position or something. Do you know? He will consult with the spirit realm and come up with a strategy for you. Is that true? He will not tell you, go and give everybody that strategy, but you say that's a, based on your request. This is what the realm of the spirit has said is the requirement. Bring a goat or bring a cow and then go to a road where there are so many beggars. Give to, do all of these things and you honor that strategy and with the foolishness of that strategy, within the limit of divination, it will seem to produce a semblance of tremendous results. But when we come to God, we are not interested in receiving strategies. Joshua, do not go and knock the gate of Jericho and say, open, we want to fight. You may not survive. Jericho is a city that nothing comes in 
and nothing comes out and it is not always by your sword the fence is too thick to use sword you need to go back and find out jehoshaphat grant them access to revelation and let them know that there are times that god can make enemies fight themselves what you need is to sing it may not make sense but sing there are times that you can go and lock yourself and god will say take your employment letter don't talk to anybody about your promotion you just place it on the ground and dance around it and he said god but i went to school he said that's the problem just do what i ask you to do you will dance like a madman for one hour and god will wake your boss like he did abimelech and say why have you not considered promoting this my servant give the person double promotion or create another department and you see people envying you and the only thing they can say is you are doing something that we don't understand and they are not wrong may your life be a mystery and a wonder in the name of jesus christ the tribe of Issachar, they were men who stayed with God to receive strategies. That is why I encourage people to go for end of year retreats and receive strategy for this ministry. There are things that God has said for this year, not just the prophetic word, but the things, the steps to take. The conference we're doing in UK, and it's not just a human being. If I want to go and rest, I don't have to do a conference. I can smuggle myself there, go and lie down and come back. But this is a prophetic conference. Now you will see what that conference will become. And you will know that the hand of God was upon it. That it came by a Rema word. Can I tell you, when ordinary people look supernatural, it's because they are trading on supernatural secrets. We are ordinary nothing unusual by ourselves except that the power we have received the wisdom that comes from heaven when we put it to work it produces extraordinary results that defy the intellect this is the secret please lay your hands on your head in one minute i want you to cry for the next one minute lord what is the strategy for the next level of my prophetic destiny reveal it unto me someone open your mouth and pray someone open your mouth and pray prophet pray apostle pray man of god pray what is the strategy for the next season of my life what is the strategy for raising my children now that they, they have become teenagers what is the strategy to restore my crumbling business what is the strategy to ward off these attacks that are coming from left right and center someone pray someone pray Reveal to me. Reveal to me. The strategy for victory. For Hallelujah. And establishing spiritual realities. We use prayer as the platform to make decrees. To create possibilities. To establish spiritual realities. Are we still together? Job chapter 22 and verse 28, it says, And thou shalt decree, not assume, not wish, thou shalt decree a thing, and the thing that you decree, not the thing that you want or wish, shall be established unto thee. Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee. The fourth assignment of prayer according to scripture is for warfare and intercession this is a dimension of prayer warfare and intercession this is very important the bible already told us in john chapter 10 and verse 10 that satan is called the thief and that he comes with the singular goal of stealing killing and destruction apostle peter charged us in first peter 5 and verse 8 to be sober and to be vigilant he says for your adversary the devil like a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour 
hallelujah and then of course ezekiel chapter 22 i believe verse 30 he says and i sought for a man i like that scripture among them that he should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that i should not destroy it but i found none so prayer becomes a prophetic platform for warfare what is warfare engaging through the understanding of scripture and establishing the victory that is in christ you see that now over the situations that attempt to fight and plague your authority in christ it's important that you understand this but you see when it has to do with prayer there are various kinds of prayer that the bible identifies i'm not going into that this is a charge this morning so that we pray the bible tells us there is something called praying amiss am i right on that there are all kinds of prayer and the bible is very clear as to the fact that not every kind of prayer produces power there is a recommended kind of prayer and a pattern of prayer that produces power hallelujah two conditions according to james chapter 5 and verse 16 that must be captured in the prayer of the righteous to produce power i want you to please listen now there are two important components as revealed in chapter 16 of james 5 that if and when they are not captured in your prayer your prayer cannot produce power number one the bible says the effectual fervent i like to reverse it for the sake of our understanding so number one the bible talks about fervency that the prayer of the believer that produces power power to influence power to manipulate power to establish according to divine order must be prayer that is fervent what does it mean to be fervent it means from the heart it means with zeal with passion and with truthfulness are we together very important jeremiah 29 and verse 13 in the dealings of god with men we learn from scripture and even from experience that god seems to respond to passion and sincerity and hunger it seems to me like the spirit of god does not pay so much respect to laxity and carelessness god wants to see intention and fire even in error he respects the passion and corrects you there is nowhere god sees passion that he ignores thou son of david have mercy on me i don't know whether what i'm doing is right or wrong but i'm not going to let you go if i may but touch the hem of his garment every time god sees passion he interprets it as the person being serious even if in ignorance so the bible says the fervent are we together the fervent from the heart jeremiah 29 13 he says and you shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart there is a level of seriousness and intention that must be invested in the prayer of the righteous if it is to produce power second chronicles chapter 15 we'll read verse 12 then for time we'll jump to we'll jump to 15 is god helping us already the bible says and they the nation of judah they entered into a covenant watch this to seek the lord god of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul notice now all of them was plunged into that covenant verse 16 the Bible says, and all Judah rejoiced at the oath, for they had, okay, thank you. Give us verse 15. Just stop at verse 15. Did I give you? Yeah, 15 is fine. And all Judah rejoiced at the oath, for they had sworn with all their heart. And the Bible says they sought him with their whole desire. What was the result? He was found of them, and the Lord gave them rest round about. The Bible says the fervent you want the kind of prayer that changes things changes you and through you influences your world it is prayer that comes with fervency zeal passion and god bless you i would like you to live a praying life this year just like 
The scripture spoke about the life of Jabez. He said, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. But certain things in the life of Jabez were not corresponding to the honor that has been ascribed to his name. And so Jabez cried out to the Lord, O thou God, that thou wouldest enlarge my coast. It is time for you to cry out to the Lord. It is time for you to engage your faith and also ensure that all God has promised, written about your life, becomes a reality. See to it that your life must change. Do not keep quiet over that terminal disease. Do not keep quiet over that failed business, over that crumbled ministry, over the report from darkness. Engage your faith in the place of prayer with what God is doing for your life, with what God has said for your life, and with the word of the Lord, and to see to it that all he has spoken by your life comes to pass. Do ensure that you subscribe to Outpouring Stream YouTube channel on this platform and share this message to your loved ones, family and friends. God bless you.